Yeah, I'm just really happy to come away with the win tonight. Um, just a lot of credit to Georgia Tech. and We had a pretty substantial lead, and they roared back, fought hard, and took it down to the wire. So, um, again, just thankful and grateful we came out of here with a win. Proud of the girls for fighting through to the, to the bitter end. <laughs> You guys are up 22 early in the third. Uh, they come all the way back. What changed for you guys in the second half? What, what did they do to create that spark? Um, they went more to a 1-3-1 one, one defense, and we didn't struggle with it in the first half. In the second half, we got cold. We weren't making our shots, and I felt we got tentative, and um, ball got stuck on one side of the floor. We didn't move it as well. We weren't as aggressive, um, and I think um, they went on huge runs without us scoring at all. And I think on the other end of the floor, it was defensively. We just allowed them to get just obviously offensive rebound after offensive rebound. So we didn't, you know, make them work so much in their set. We just gave them so many second chance points. Both you guys and George Tech had your most success when you were driving inside. But yeah. third and fourth quarter, you guys settled for a lot of deep jumpers. Was that because of that one three one zone? Or I think we just got tentative, and they saw that they were open, and so they just took shots. And you know, that's great. But when you're not scoring, you got to get touches in the paint, and you got to not close players, guards alike, and I don't think we did enough penetrating against the zone kicking and, and keeping the ball moving. I felt, felt it got stuck on one side of the floor, and we didn't shift the defense very much. On the flip side, they had a lot of success penetrating. Yep. Did you guys expect that coming in? Is that kind of their strength? Yep. Yeah, that's their strength. I don't, you know, we've done a, I thought we've been a, a really good team this year, like understanding player personnel, taking things away from people. Um, and we knew the strengths of this team. Obviously, offensive rebounds. We knew that um, O'Neal loves to go left. She's a lefty. Uh, I think we gave her too much space to go left. Um, so just corrections is just, we've been better at things like that. Nothing to, t not to take anything away from Zara because she had an unbelievable game. She's an unbelievable player. And um, she almost made us pay for this. You've, uh, Joanne, but you've, you've let games like this get away before yep. this season. Is it more discouraging that you let them get back in it or encouraging that you still found a way to win? I guess at this time, hour of the evening, I would say um, the latter, which is just glad we got through it and the team made a run on us and we were able to hold on until the end. And um, so, again, it's lessons learned and we always talk about this. And I don't think the girls, the ladies walked into the locker room at halftime and thought anything different than they were going to come out and play hard. I just thought we got stagnant, you know, and I think it, again, one end of the floor affected the other. And so we have too big of a game on Sunday to let to dwell on this too. We got to learn some lessons, watch a little bit of film, and we got we need these two, next two days of prep for Duke. And Brianna, kind of building on that, Louisville, uh, Syracuse, Northwest, you guys have had double-digit leads in those games and lost. How do you guys avoid this going, going forward? Um, just doing the things that we need to do as far as rebounding and taking care of the ball. Those have been main, uh, the two main categories that, cut, that have kind of hurt us when we've been facing those teams and we've had big leads. Julian, kind of the same question for you. Obviously, there's going to be ebbs and flows in any yep. game, but how do you guys avoid those five-minute scoreless droughts? Mm, it's great. Um, I'd be a much, a much better coach if I knew the answer to that. You know, it's always about the girls just staying confident and moving the ball. And when it gets stuck, when the ball just sticks on one side of the floor for us or it just stays in one person's hands, that's when we're not at our best. So the more we move the ball and the more we attack, use a lot of dribble penetration, ball screen things, the, the better off we are. So, again, I, I would think just to stay more aggressive doesn't mean you shoot quick, just, just be in an aggressive mindset. Tyra, how big do you think it is that – yeah, it kind of unfolded the way it did, but you guys, at the end of the day, you still get out of here with the win. <clears throat> yeah, we um, as we huddled up, you know, this is what we work on every day in practice, you know, in certain situations. We try not to be in those situations all the time, but it's good to prepare, prepare for those. Um, so I thought we did a good job of being aggressive at the end and coming out with the win. Tell me about that three at the end. Uh, that, had to be, that had to be a pretty good feeling there at the end of regulation, that three-pointer you hit to go up by two. I had a it was a three. I, I think it was a two. Two. Was a two? I didn't realize it. Okay. You know, we we don't focus on the score, but we, we focus on you know getting stops and you know getting back on the defensive end and making getting stops and getting back on the um, offensive end and pushing the ball back. And you had a double double today. I believe your first of the season, right? Ten and twelve. First ever. So so tell me about that. You know, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. What's it like to get in there and crash the boards when you're not one of the largest girls on the floor? Yeah, I didn't realize that, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing hard. Um, you know, if I don't get it, just at least get a body in there, get a touch on it. My teammates will get it. Um, just being aggressive, knowing that I, you know, I'm not the tallest out there. Um, 
size doesn't matter. Just getting in, crashing, and being aggressive. You good, Ralph? So another ranked team coming in on Sunday. Yep. Uh, what's the focus going forward? What do you guys have to clean up from this one? Um, obviously rebounding, but I think they're really they're two totally different teams. So again, going back and looking at us, things we need to do, showing the girls obviously the rebounding, staying aggressive, because Duke plays a zone as well. It's just a different type of matchup. So uh, where are the holes? Um, but again, the more we move the ball, the more we screen it, the more we look for open shots, inside outside game, those kind of things. Um, that's we just got to have an aggressive mindset and and rebound the basketball. That's those are the two main things. Bri, I have one more for you. Just from your perspective, hang on one second. From your perspective, I guess, how are the freshmen kind of learning from these experiences? Um, these have been, I think, great experiences for them, for them to get this early on in the year and to consistently get it throughout the season, I think is good and will be great for their growth as we kind of come to the latter part of the season, as we go into the ACC tournament, and it'll also be good for them in the future. But I think they're learning a lot. They're learning from their mistakes, watching film and trying to clean those up in practice, and each day they're trying to get better. Can you see, like... Maybe like November, December, a mistake they would have made that they're not doing anymore in a game like this? Yes, definitely. And all, all across the board, I th think they've shown great improvement. And of course, like they're still going to make mistakes, but that's because they're so good. So there's a lot of room for error. And we have great coaches that are willing to help them with that.